Are you better suited to become a data analyst or a business analyst? Now, this is a very common question that I get. What is the difference between a data analyst and a business analyst? And in today's video, I'm going to have a face off between these two careers. These job titles are sometimes used interchangeably in smaller organizations to describe roles involving data or system analysis. However, larger organizations typically employ both business analysts and data analysts to perform unique duties and thus making the differences between the two careers important to understand. Hi, I'm Shirish Gupta and I empower people to hack their success, rise above the challenges and confidently create an extraordinary life they deserve. So, here's a look at what these careers entail and advice for deciding which career path is right for you. Data analytics involve analyzing data sets to uncover trends and insights that are subsequently used to make informed organizational decisions. On the other hand, business analytics is focused on analyzing various types of information to make practical, data-driven business decisions and implementing changes based on those decisions. Business analytics often uses insights drawn from data analysis to identify problems and find solutions. Well, let's look at each one of them in slightly more detail. To start with, what is a data analyst? Well, a data analyst's fundamental job is to tell compelling stories with data that empower organizational leaders to make better, more informed decisions. For example, a data analyst working at a hotel will notice new customers versus old customers, let's say, and might see an interesting pattern that this hotel is not having repeat customers. So data analyst purely works on data to identify patterns and stories. The key responsibilities of a data analyst often include designing and maintaining databases and database systems, including troubleshooting potential issues, do data mining and clearing data for analysis, use data mining models such as regression to analyze data. And don't worry about these jargons if you have never heard of them before. Just think about them as tech things. Other responsibilities include preparing reports which effectively communicate their findings to organizational leaders and key stakeholders. To be effective in their roles, data analysts must possess the technical skills necessary for data mining, hygiene and analysis, along with strong interpersonal skills to communicate their findings to decision makers. Some of the most essential skills for data analysts include data visualization and presentation skills, Microsoft Excel, structured query language like SQL or R programming or even Python programming knowledge. A bachelor's degree in a related field such as computer science is typically required for entry-level data analysis. For senior positions, hiring managers often require or strongly prefer a graduate degree such as master's degree in analytics. Now let's talk about what is business analyst. Business analysts are responsible for making business decisions using data. A business analyst might also hold job titles such as operations research analyst, management analyst or business data analyst. So in same example above of working in a hotel, a business analyst will think about new ideas to have more repeat customers by maybe starting a loyalty program or maybe lowest price guaranteed or something else. Business analysts use the data to make business decisions that can add more value to the company, maybe in the revenue or service or in any other way. The duties of a business analyst typically include evaluating business processes for efficiency, cost, and other valuable metrics, communicating insights with business teams and key stakeholders, even preparing strategic recommendations for process adjustments, procedures, and performance improvements. Some of the primary skills needed to become a successful business analyst include critical thinking, super important, problem solving, communication, and process improvement. These professionals must have a firm understanding of their organization's objectives and procedures so that they can analyze performance, identify inefficiencies, and propose and implement solutions. Business analysts must have at least a working knowledge of technology involved in analytics, though the need for hard technical skills is generally lower than for data analysts. For those looking for career advancement opportunities, however, developing an advanced knowledge of mathematics, computer science, and analytics can act as a significant differentiator in the job market. Entry-level business analyst position usually requires bachelor's degree in business administration or related area of study. As the need for professionals with expert data skill increases, though an advanced degree like a master's in analytics or a master's in business analytics are becoming more popular among job applicants. So, what's the difference? 
While data analysts and business analysts both work with data, the main difference lies in what they do with it. Business analysts use data to help organizations make more effective business decisions. In contrast, data analysts are more interested in gathering and analyze data for the business to evaluate and use to make decisions on their own. In simplest terms, data is the end for data analysts, while it is the start for business analysts, as they need to make business decisions based on that very data. Now I'm sure you must be thinking, how to choose between a career as a business analyst or a data analyst, right? So which career path is the right one for you, data analyst or business analyst? To determine that, you will need to consider three important factors. Number one, your educational and professional background. Number two, your interests. And number three, your desired career path. Now let's just start with number one. Consider your background. Business analysts and data analysts usually come from different educational and professional backgrounds. Where business analysts, which also known as system analysts at times, usually have earned an undergrad degree in a business-focused major. Yes, a business-focused major. They have good knowledge for business processes and they mostly use data to make business operations more efficient. And they have some knowledge of, but aren't necessarily expert in various programming language. A working knowledge will do. So business analysts take requirements from the business team and work as a bridge between business and the technical team to develop effective solutions for business. Data analysts, on the other hand, work with large data sets all day to identify trends, make charts, and create visual presentations for the business to use to make their decisions. These professionals usually come from STEM major, that is science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, and often have an advanced degree and a more extensive background in math, science, programming, databases, modeling, and predictive analytics. So consider your background, and if you are in school and starting out your career search, look which field interests you more. Is it business? or technology, and then decide accordingly. Next is to consider your interests. Do you obsess over numbers and statistics, or are you more of a problem-solving business person? Business analysts are more interested in finding ways to solve problems than enjoy working in the corporate world. They might be tasked with researching, organizing, and overseeing the implementation of the new workflow, for example. These people are often good communicators. Both written and oral skills are essential since they must explain technical messages to stakeholders in layman terms. And it is really not easy task to do from my personal experience to explain technical messages to business teams or vice versa. So you need good communication skills. Data analysts are number driven people who excel in subjects such as statistics and programming. These people are more inclined towards math, computers and are interested in extracting data points from complex and often disparate sources. Rather, they enjoy data. Last one why choosing the right fit career is to consider your career path. Though business analytics and data analytics share some similarities, they differ in salary and their potential career paths. Because business analysts are not required to have as deep as a background in programming as data analysts, entry-level positions pay a slightly lower salary than data analysts. The salary of a business analyst working in IT averages about $75,000. US dollars. Advanced degrees and certifications are often necessary to move from a business analyst role into a more analytics-driven career. Data analysts, on the other hand, have a higher earning potential, well into six figures, yes, and more options for career path. The Robert Half Technology 2020 Salary Guide reports that data analysts typically earn between $83,000 to about $150,000. Because these professionals work primarily in databases, their room for advancement with the acquisition of additional programming skills like R or Python is super important. Additionally, data analysts can more readily shift into developer career and data science roles with advanced degrees. Now let's move to the last section of this video. The difference between data and business analysis more than just semantics. Despite the differences between data analysts and business analysts, individuals in both careers have promising future. They're both in strong demand right now, and both these careers feature in my top 10 future career list, and you can find the link of the video in the description. Data science is a critical domain for many companies, and a lot of them are hiring and building out large data teams. No matter which career path you ultimately decide to pursue, there are steps you will need to take to prepare yourself to that career and workspace. 
Perhaps more importantly, you will need to develop the skills required for your desired position and complete the appropriate training. To get your head start, I would recommend taking some courses on online platforms like Coursera or edX. And for your ease, I have listed some courses for you and you can find the links in the description box of this video. And remember, the important consideration point, if you have interest in math and coding, go for data science. And if you are more inclined towards business, go for business analyst career. For business and data analysts alike, having advanced knowledge of theoretical foundations and practical tools of analytics can have powerful career outcomes. Also, you should look to develop a decent command of programming language. Well, I would recommend you Python or even R programming for that matter. In all, both these careers have immense potential and future scope, and you can absolutely work to develop your skills in either. Just see which one suits you better in terms of your interest and background. I hope you have enjoyed this video and if you did, do like it and share this video with your friends to help them get out of this confusion. Also, I would love you to subscribe to my channel and press that bell icon so you get notified of my new videos as soon as they are out. Once again, thank you for watching. I am Shirish and I will see you very very soon.